What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You see that little orange light right there? Yeah, that came on uh, yesterday. And uh, this is on my 2019 Ranger. Look, 69,200 miles. And I'm gonna talk to you about what it was. And we see everything is green here now. I'm sorry if you can't see the glare. Everything's green now. And we're gonna go back and do a retest to make sure that everything is green. So here we are under the hood, this little guy. This was the problem. It was code P139C as in Charlie, which is differential pressure sensor C. Hose off or unplugged or clogged. And that hose that it's referring to is the EGR hose. So the EGR sits right back there, takes the exhaust gases, goes through another tube back behind there that's the sensor you can't see it but right below that plug there's a hose see these two hoses they connect to that metal pipe that I was talking about and it's re it's reading the pressure so what it's saying is that there was a differential pressure between both and the symptoms the check engine light didn't initially come on it was just uh, my wife and I had went to Walmart and at low speeds, it was bucking and jerking really bad. And then as you get up into higher speeds, it was fine. But as soon as you let off the throttle, it would buck and jerk again really bad. So I got my laptop with the IDS or the FDRS. And I went into the PCM because there was, and there was no check engine light. It was still green. So I went in and reset cam which resets uh, keep alive memory. That's what CAM stands for. And it shifted fine. Uh, that was the next day when I did that. So that was, uh, they said, it, so that was Thursday when I did that. And I'd went to the grocery store on the way home. It was shifting fine. Everything was good. I went into the grocery store and came back out and started to pull through the parking lot and it was doing it again. Check engine light wasn't on. So I was like, damn. And I make it maybe a mile down the road, headed back toward my house, and the check engine light popped on. So I pulled out the laptop again, and that's when I had the code 136 or 139 or whatever it was C for the EGR differential pressure sensor. It's either clogged, the hose is clogged, the sensor is faulty. So I went ahead and got a sensor for it, and then I pulled everything apart. Um, you can get it as an assembly, um, but it's like 150 bucks. Just the sensor itself is about 60 bucks. So I pulled everything apart, and I looked down inside the hoses, and they were fine. Um, look down inside here. You kind of can see down inside here, mainly on this port right here. It's a little bit gunky in there, and it was reading different. Uh, and when I was monitor monitoring with the computer, it was reading different voltage was there, but it was just wasn't reading right. So I put the new sensor on. I took the old hoses off of the old sensor, cleaned them out, put them on, reconnected everything back together, cleared the code, drove it. It's been running fine. So now again, we're going to turn this bad boy back on. We're going to come back over here. We're going to view and it's gonna go do its self-test thing again. And then we're gonna see if that code has returned, which it has not. It is a pass. So what I can do is start it. I'll go into toolbox, I'll go to PCM, and then I'm gonna do a data logger. And I want to look at the pressure and the voltage. Uh, yes, I want to look at the PCM. And it's idling so much smoother now too. So I, ha I believe I had a faulty sensor. Because it's not, it's not gummed up inside there enough to actually cause that much of a problem. And it sucks you can't really see down inside there. I think my sensor was faulty to be honest with you. It just wasn't reading like it's supposed to. I gotta get some air going in here, it's hot. 
So I'm gonna go up here and type in pressure. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I find EGR, if I can find my mouse cursor. There it is. Okay, differential pressure feedback EGR sensor voltage and then EGR sensor. Uh, if you look right here, go across, that's pressure. So I'm going to click on pressure and I'm going to click on voltage and then I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to pop up. So it's, it's read 1.5 volts if I step on it. And now it's reading like it's supposed to. So that was my problem. It was the stupid sensor. Luckily it wasn't the um, actual EGR itself. When I pulled the little hoses off and I looked at the pipe down inside there it wasn't clogged up it wasn't dirty so i went ahead and cleaned out the little rubber hoses anyway before i put them back on and it's working fine now i might take it for a ride again just to double check make sure nothing comes no more uh check engine lights or anything come back on all right see right now it would be bucking and jerking the check engine lights not on so that's good We're at a low speed. It, it's driving normal. There's no check engine light. It would have come on by now and I would have started feeling it already. And I've already test drove A after I fixed it, B on my way home, and now C I'm doing it for a third time. And luckily it was just a sensor located on the intake it's just mounted to the intake where that EGR pipe goes around the back of the engine it's not hard to do it's an 8 millimeter bolt and two hose clamps and an electrical connector right now I'm at 50 miles an hour and if I tried to step on it it would bog down and it doesn't bog down anymore so fixed $60 part, good to go. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't film uh, diagnosing it. It was like eight o'clock at night when I diagnosed it. But And then trying to put it together, or uh, like I said, it's not hard to change it out, but when I changed it out, I was in a parking lot at a dealership. I had to get both hands in a tight spot, so I didn't have time to film it. But that is what it was. You can see the new sensor, the old sensor I just had in my hand. So, uh, a bad pressure sensor will cause it to buck and jerk. A bad EGR will cause it to buck and jerk. Uh, it'll cause poor fuel mileage, um, especially at low speeds. Um, so I hope that uh, information is helpful to you. If you guys have any questions, reach out. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm headed back home.